themes at the center relates to the critical role of education as a pathway out of poverty for the current generation as well as for future generations. Um, part of this research agenda understands and, and emphasizes that maintaining access to higher education, particularly in today's atmosphere of rising inequality, shrinking public sector support, is a critical issue and one that we need continued discussion on. And so I'm very concerned, as uh, I'm sure you all are, that we are pricing more and more kids out of uh, UC education and out of this great experience that our campuses uh, have been providing. Tuition on our campuses has gone up substantially in the last four years, and programs have been cut or totally eliminated. We have tightened our belts, we have become more efficient, but we are still not accessible to enough deserving students. Much of the reason for this is because the state has been unable to invest in higher education for some time due to serious budget shortfalls. The gap between the demands of our economy and the supply of college-educated workers poses a serious threat to the state's economic future. Income inequality is greater in California than any other state in the Union, and it's getting worse every day. As the demand for higher skilled workers increases in a innovation-based economy. Employment prospects for Californians with low education levels will be even lower than they are today. Well, it's much more fun to serve during good times, but it may be much more important to serve during the difficult and bad times. Effective organizing, effective political advocacy is about focus. It is about picking one or two or three things that matter. And even if it doesn't change the entire world, it changes a big part of the world and changes lives for the better. We can rally around together and make a difference for you and for the people who will come after you. And as you can see, lifetime, the gap in earnings between somebody who finishes college and somebody who doesn't go to college is, oh, you know, $300,000. That's net of typical loan payments and net of tuition costs. Okay, so in short, that's the answer to the question of is college still worth it? Yes. Over the lifetime, somebody who goes to college versus somebody who uh, stops at high school is going to end up earning net of their costs over the course of their lifetime an additional $400,000 or so. Okay, so yes, it is still worth it. So there's the U.S. The rate of uh, taxation on the top income earners has dropped about 30 percentage points. Not percent, points. Okay? Uh, something similar in UK. Right? So basically we have stopped, not stopped, we have massively decreased the amount of taxation that we place on the highest earners. That was the money that was being used to pay it forward. That was used to invest in education, to invest in K-12 education, to invest in college. And it's not happening. So it's turning more into a Pay your own way. At a moment when the changes in the economy make education all the more important, against many international indicators, we're in decline. And the disparities in education attainment and achievement are now widening again. In a fundamental sense, this is not just about the policy plumbing. It's not just about, it's not just about additional investments. It's about changing our values to create the political predicate, the moral predicate, for reinvesting in both K-12 and in higher education. That the only way in which we're going to be able to preserve excellence and provide access to tens of thousands of additional students as California is browning, the only way we're going to be able to do that is with some reinvention of the way we deliver instruction. So the question is, how, we, how can we continue to provide education that is UC quality, but that takes, advantages of, that takes advantage of new technologies in order to deliver that high quality instruction in a more cost effective way? But I'm worried about how we're going to provide access to all of these other students that we can't fit on our campuses, but who are every bit as qualified to be there. Society can't afford to say to those tens of thousands of students, that's okay, you don't need a world-class education. 
We can only afford to give you something less. Good luck. So as you students prepare yourself to make a difference in the world, you need to do two things. You need to collect the heaviest bag full of tools, intellectual skills, habits of thought, analytical capabilities that you can possibly accumulate on this fabulous campus. And you also need to keep your eye on the values that are at stake in these struggles and become adept at debating them, at engaging them, at persuading people about them. These are skills for life. And never will you have a better opportunity to gain them than what you're doing right now, right here at the University of California. Thank you.